Hello there everyone and welcome back to the mod where a certain Herman Goring is having a little bit too much to eat in terms of countries, but I hope you're having a great day and right now we're doing Pacific Dominance. A new administration, the Eastern Naval Authority shall be established promptly. Similar to our Reichskommissariats, the Authority shall be a governing body to patrol and protect our new possessions and allies in the East and Pacific Asia. And the backbone of this force shall be made up of ships we've managed to take possession of from the Japanese Navy. This force shall be highly mobile to ensure the big old daddy Reich has a permanent presence in our newly conquered lands. This will keep newly freed nations in the area in check as well. No one will dare act on any of our possessions or allies with the mobile army always on call. And integrate the IJM. Even after Japan's defeat, their fleet remains massive, modern, and dangerous. Japan was certainly one of the most world's foremost naval powers, and even now their navy is unquestionably powerful. Their service fleet is exactly what we need to project power in the Pacific Ocean. We should at once send over our Kriegsmarine officers to take stock of our new ships and raise crews so we can effectively man them. Adapting these new ships into our navy's command structure will greatly increase their power in the waves. The IJN may have, ne may have fought against us, but it is a powerful and worthy force nonetheless. We ought to make use of the ships that remain in our battles against the Americans. Japanese bases. Many of Japan's dockyards and port facilities have been extensively damaged during the conflict. Many have been so thoroughly bombed that even our smaller ships have doubled trouble docking and disembarking bottle supplies. Mooring any number of warships in nearly any of our Japanese dockyards is a real headache. Worse is the fact that we have no, nearly no capacity or capability to repair or maintain those ships. With the Americans now eyeing our positions in Asia, we need to concentrate on repairing our ports so we can once again project naval power from Japan. Our ships in the Pacific need the facilities to be able to independently repair and maintain the ships, especially since they are so far away from the fatherland. Our efforts will have the added benefit of giving us the range to strike American shipping, which should keep them humble enough to leave our interests in Asia alone until they realize, well, they're last. They're the only two continents we've not touched yet, and boy, by God, we are going to touch them. That sounds very weird to say, but whatever. And our guys are still trying to head on over here so we can navally invade Brazil to do that. Um, also, a couple comments go through, like such as, You forgot Monaco. Yeah, I did. I already took them out, though. They're gone. Um, we took out the Pope. The Pope doesn't exist, as well as San Marino and Andorra. So, that's pretty good. I actually remembered, or at least I did it off screen, so. The Eastern Naval Authority, even though we're still technically war to Tibet. Fira Goring has finally come forth to the, fu to the world today to announce the finalization of the Eastern Naval Authority's creation. The world shall watch in equal parts fear and awe as it grasps the extent and might of the Reich and its new conquests. Let them quake. Let them stare. German influence stretches unbroken from Japan to France, and everything in between. We have no rivals, for who even comes close to matching our might in the field? Japanese sports will make lovely bases for our fleets, able to deploy across the Pacific and our new domains across Asia towards the American enemy. Nice. I think it's a core on Petokin To. Okay, cool. So we get a new Rocks Commissariat. Um, yeah. Someone did ask in the comments, like, where's Fall Damarum? I think it's just because the Co-Prosperity Sphere hasn't technically capitulated. Like, they all have capitulated, including Tibet. But the faction itself has not, which is very, very weird. But, oh, 10% more soft attack is really nice. But yeah, it's very weird that they have not capitulated. So I'm thinking I might just, like, use Cost Commands again, kick China out, and eat up all of China. I'd like to see Rocks Commissariat China. That'd be kind of cool. So we'll see. They're not that strong. I think I might save them for last, though, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I'd like to kick him from the faction. Um, that'd probably be for the best. So, yeah. So, if you guys come back around here, that'd be great. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do this, actually, realistically. There you go. Something like eh. Alright, so let's do something like this, then. Whee! Nord China. Something like that. We'll see what happens. Because I do want to see what happens with those guys, especially before we go to war with Brazil, so... Give us some time to get over there. That'll be fine. And repurpose the Ken by time. Japan is the most, perhaps the most alien of all of our occupations yet. The culture is completely different from anything we've seen yet. There's a clear language barrier between our occupation forces and the local populations, which makes control in the country a difficult task. With some convincing, we could use the emperor, who is in our custody as it is so happens, to make an appeal to the Japanese military police, the Ken by time. These men see the emperor's words as law. With a couple of words, we could have the entirety of, what, of that force at our beck and call, which would be a huge help in controlling the local population in Japan. Repurpose the Kenpai by Tide to serve our message. Do we have any more ships? There's Rex Kumsar at Japan, Ost Indian, Filipino. Hmm. The Korea question. One of our many questions that rose following our victory over the Japanese is what we should do with Korea. Korea lies in a vital area imperative for control over Asia, although we aren't the only country with, who has an interest in the area. The newly liberated Chinese government has respectively requested that we leave the Korean Peninsula and allow a native government to finally run their own affairs. Journals within our administration point out that Korea is an area vital for supplying our occupation in Japan. Without it, moving supplies is a more complex affair. Likewise, the Chinese gain more influence over Asia as a whole. Whether we turn the peninsula into a Rakshu Commissariat or liberate it for the locals, a choice will have to be made soon concerning the situation. We shall establish a unified Korea under our control. Alex Commissar Korea. 
Cool. Uh, there was another comment saying that I should give an overview of all conquered territories. I would like to do that, and I probably will soon. We'll just give us a little bit of time, and we'll probably do that. I do want to take out China first, though. Uh, carve it up, baby. Carve it up. The German occupation of Japan has achieved its goals. We have thoroughly combed through the aisles of all of its valuables, or valuables. Important industrial machinery has been dismantled and sent back home, and the population has been thoroughly pacified, forced to accept our domination and total defeat. Organized resistance is almost non-existent at this point. Our mission is therefore complete. It is finally time to send our men home. In their place, we shall set up several collaboration governments to manage local affairs and police the population, which will, of course, still be subjected to this administration in Berlin. We actually have united Reichskommissariat but divided people. The Reichskommissariat Japan gets more stability, and they get some more courts, which is uh, pretty nice. That's, that's pretty necessary, so. Look at that. Look at her depth. It's negative 102-1539.48. Goring is such a big man, he ate all the debt. So, we still have a deficit, but now the national debt's $100 million. What if we did that? Not bad. Not bad, my friends. Not bad. But then break their own broken line. The Japanese people still stand to find. These proud people still passively defy our rule, even though our victory over them is total. Little head is paid, or little heed is paid to the collaboration government. And to stand against the government is high, since they see those leaders as nothing more than upstarts. If we're going to control the Japanese people, we need to control their emperor. Their people need to see that he's not a god. He's a simple man. And a broken one at that. We will force the emperor to be our puppet and enforce our will in Japan. He cannot refuse, for the alternative is to service is death. The Chrysanthemum throne show a lot empty. Ooh, I don't like that, but I definitely don't want to do that. But it is what it is, and if they do not listen, then well, we have to do stuff. Nice. That's just so good. Look at that flag, a really awesome flag. Look at Korea. I like that flag, too. You know, this is kind of weird colors, but yeah, not bad. Our guys are here already, so I'm going to use cons commands against the, uh, the Chinese. Because um, after this, it's all about the Americas. So, on Broken Line is very good. Uh, we can still do that one, but we're not going to. This is the one about the Black Sun. Uh, Fall Amazon. Did I ever read this one? I don't think I have yet. Actually, I have, I think. If you want to read this again, please go right ahead. So, so we'll do that later on. Ikoros, Fall Viking. Okay, so, I should be doing this, but as you can see, I've already done, like... Use console commands to take out those other smaller nations. What if we kicked you out? This might break the game, but we'll see what happens. Let's see. And we have a truce until when? The 6th. So about a month-ish. So can now... Can we just go ahead and do like one... Yeah, there we go. That's what we like to see. We. Oh, you're still in with us for some reason. Why are you still with us? I guess we'll see. They got a lot of manpower. Two divisions. I mean, these guys aren't that strong, so. We'll see what happens. Next, come sorry, China. We already have North, North China, so. Oh, there's the Eastern Naval Authority. There they are. That's a lot of manpower. Wow. No divisions, of course, but they're led by. Yeah. On camera. The setting sun. Fire. The first thing you see when you enter Tokyo is fire. Only a few days ago, the city was one of the most prosperous metropolises in the world. And in the final days before the capture, all the Japanese people living there had to worry about was the distant threat of the encroaching German soldiers. Gorin took out another cigarette as he approached the center of the city. He regretted not coming to the place before that invasion. It looked like it used to be beautiful, but that was before the Great Eastern War, considered to be a great world war in size. Goring's men had triumphed, but at what cost? One of the leading nations in culture and technology now smoking ruin of a state. As the fear walked, uh, continued walking, he could hear cries of begging and desperate men before gunshots and silence. The Japanese spirit continued to fight until the end has not worked in their favor, considering their dead bodies in literally every single street. What has the world come to that the centers of humanity's greatest achievements are now just glorified mass graves? All this goring thought as he walked through the streets with his elite bodyguard, but these doubts were already disappearing. He needed to organize the entirety of Asia under German rule, then that doesn't happen in a day. And so the thoughts of the death of Asian freedom went back to the back of his mind, just like all the other conquests. There wasn't time for regret. There was work to be done. We conquer all. Yes, yes, yes. Goring's Caribbean vacation. I love that focus image. The Führer has never stepped foot in the Caribbean island off the coast of the Americas, but he has heard from trusted sources that they are a land that would be excellent for building a personal summer resort once conquered. Aside from the personal worth of the Führer, these islands would make excellent naval and air bases for the inevitable invasion of the mainland. There are even some nations among the numerous islands that would even be worth reaching out to, if only to make securing the region all that easier. A smuggler, huh? Ah, the misguided. Okay, so we can't get him down here, which sucks. 
talks with Haiti. Haiti has, a fear has been told by his aides, a long and troubled history, which may help explain why it's now under government that is commonly referred to as following the, fo the principles of National Socialism. While some within the Reich's foreign office are hesitant to apply such a prestigious label to an island state run by lesser races, it's con conceded that their government model bears similarities at least to the Reich's. Goring does not really understand nor is interested in finding out the tenets of the Haitian leader's philosophies, but such things as ideals are trivial matters in the end. Perhaps believes a fear. This Francois de la Vie will recognize us as ideological, although thankfully not for us, genetic kin. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, they, as they would say, he is of a lesser race, so we'll see what happens with him. And we're still building up a lot of naval bases, we're still building up a lot of roads. So, yeah. Are, are these guys... They are down here, it's good. Well, sort of. Do what you must. Holiday in the sun. The great conference table today was covered not by a map of the Reich's eastern border, but the west. The fear leant over the canvas and was prodigious bulk blocking out of the overhead light like an eclipse over the western hemisphere. His finger gestured between two of the largest blocks on the map before he leaned back again with a wobble, satisfied, and took yet another sip from his glass. That's where we will find our allies. The figure to his right stared down the bridge of his nose through his reading glasses, doing his best to ignore the wind wine stain that formed a new landmass in the Atlantic. Haiti and Cuba? Schooner's lip curled up into a sneer. Forgive me, my fear. But while they would provide excellent staging points for further operations, their cooperation is unnecessary. And I expect not forthcoming. To notify them of our intentions would be counterproductive in excess. Have a little faith, Ferdinand. I am told the Haitian regime is taking great inspiration from National Socialism. No doubt they will be overjoyed for assistance against America and Dominica. Schooner resisted the urge to remind Goring that Dominica was a completely different place to the Dominican Republic. With the amount of wine the Fuhrer has consumed, it was unlikely he would understand. And Castro? The man is an ardent communist. If he chose to work with us, he'd either be a fool or a backstabber. Goring seemed to be deliberately ignoring him in order to begin writing a letter with a wobbling hand. We have no head for diplomacy, Ferdinand. Certainly we can invade all of the Caribbean, but a little goodwill goes a long way. Shuna simmered on the inside. On some days, he was sure the Fuhrer only played these little games to spite him and the other militarists, a way of feeling in control once again, but on the other days, the almost insanity of the man seemed genuine. So be it, he thought, letting the Fuhrer dream of being a diplomat. He would begin drawing up the back up plans. Why am I still taking orders from his drunk? Because it's either the drunk or nobody. The Cuban question. To be a commie nation so close to the U.S. is an oddity to say the least, but the leader of this communist nation of Cuba, one Fidel Castro, is at least normal in his ideologue's hatred of the U.S.'s capitalist enterprise. And another time, even the Fuhrer himself, a practical man. What balk at the idea of cooperating with a Bolshevik state, but this is the greatest battle for the fate of the world. And one cannot afford to be picky. With any luck, Mr. Castro will be able to see that the enemy of his enemy is his friend, for temporarily at least. After all, we both had the capitalist pigs, right? Right? Right. Boys and girls, are we ready to go in? Give us a few more days and we'll be there. One dictator understands another. To President Francois de la Vie of Haiti. I wish you and your country goodwill. Your tenure as president has seen great improvements to the suffering and poverty that has plagued Haiti since its great revolution against the French tyrants. Haiti is a peaceful and stable island, and many in Germany admire the means by which you apply the lessons of fascism and national socialism to the American continent. I write to offer an alliance in these dark times. Haiti is strong, but in the event of a German-American conflict, it risks being trampled underfoot. The Reich's friendship is a valuable thing, one that could protect Haiti in this event. The day the Haitian Republic joins Einheit's pact will be a day of prosperity and peace to be marked for the ages. Haiti and Dominica could be unified under one banner for the first time with our assistance. And your name prays for an eternity. I eagerly wait your reply. Best wishes, fear, Hermann Goring. One, dicta di one dictator will understand another. Island hopping. After the embarrassing failure to win either Haiti or Cuba over to our side, and now fall upon the warriors of the Reich to directly take control over the Caribbean islands, if we so hope to make them useful in our plans against the U.S., this will involve destroying the remnants of the former West Indies Federation, which itself was part of the OFM's island by island still. This should prove no challenge to our veteran Marines, who will no doubt be calling up to tell us of the victories only after mere hours. Hopefully. Operation Hydra. It's going to be a war with the United States, calling all communists. Uh, to, f to first, uh, Secretary Fidel Castro of Cuba, I wish you and your nation goodwill. Cuba has remained in isolated land since its revolution against the tyrant Batista, remaining under the American hegemony under its own interests, against its own interests. Your leadership has brought equality and prosperity, and there exists a great admiration for the people of Cuba and Germany for their resilience against American imperialism. I write to you to offer a friendship in these hard times. Whilst Cuba is strong and proud in the events of conflict between the Reich and the U.S., it risks being trampled between them. Only the Reich can offer protection in these circumstances, it, for it is the might of the Reich that will so eventually prevail to its end. It is my decision to offer you the honor of membership in the Heinheits Pact, and all the benefits associated with it. Cuba's independence will be guaranteed under the auspices of the Reich. While I understand there is a well-worn enmity between proponents of our two respective ideologies, you can surely appreciate that these troubled times are hardly fit for zealots of any belief. System. 
As always, practicality should win out against dogma. I eagerly wait your response. Best wishes, Fuhr Homegoring. Surely they understand real politic, and the enemy, my enemy is my enemy. You are a hypocrite, criticizing French imperialism while you hold dominion over half the globe. Haiti has learned a lesson not to deal with European powers time and time again, and for you to attempt to appeal to us by means of national socialism shows your short-sightedness. Are you not aware that almost every citizen of Haiti is of African descent? I wonder how we would fare ally to the likes of Miller and Hutig, who whipped the people of Africa and burned their homes all in the name of profit. We have indeed learned the lessons of national socialism. We have learned that European colonial brutality is not yet ridden from this road. I would sooner kiss the American president's heel or open up our ports to Japanese warships than let a single Nazi set foot on Hispaniola. The greatest of you Germans will never be more than the lowliest of my people so long as I am president. Say in Europe, President Francois de la Villa. Those ungrateful dudes. Oh, we go straight to war with them. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Well then. Uh, how do we get over there? I'll be honest. How the heck are we going to get over there? Do we have any bases here in the Americas? I don't think we do yet. What's India still over there? Um... I suppose we could try to send some tanks from here all the way over here. Holy crap, that's insane. And there's no guarantee they'll even make it over there, so go with... That should be enough to make it over there, right? Right? They only have literally a single port, so... Good luck, boys. You're definitely going to need it. Cool. No one cares. Oh, look at that. We got more ships. Yay! Wow, three more battleships? Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's very nice, actually. How are we doing against China? China! No faction. Okay, so we will go to war with the other smaller states, too, so... Um, let's just go and do this now. We might as well. Uh, unfortunately... Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Um, oh, the Eastern Naval Command's over here, too. That's just very nice. Guangxi. It's fine. Guangdong. Alright. Call them in? No? Alright. Oh, Hui is in here, too. But they're not doing anything. That's very weird. But, effing commies. To Hemen Goring. You are a liar and fool if you think you to gain my trust through honeyed words. As much as it pains me to say, your fascism is infinitely worse than any American brand of capitalism, and I spit upon your attempts to integrate, ingratiate yourself with us. The Cuba that the German people allegedly admire does not exist, for it is viewed through the Reich's corrupt and blackened lens. You take me for an idiot if you think I trust in your assurances for a second, and I have no doubt that as soon as a German boot steps on Cuba... Its wearer will begin the process of, of, process of colonialization. We will not step back under the European thumb, for the freedom of the workers of the world is our only true goal. Send your marines to Cuba, and I will ensure that they drown in the Bay of Pigs myself. I wish you an early death. First Secretary Fidel Castro. Effing commies. Yes, come on in. Let's go, boys. Go, 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 go. We're somewhat going. And it would help if we... Oh, we took Beijing already. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 42 billion. Not bad. Look, that's great. 42 billion. See, Papa Goring's national socialist economics are a work of art. You know what? Let's see what we can do with this. Alright, everybody. Come on in. Get them ships out. See what we can do. Oh, we're going to need this too, aren't we? That sucks. It's alright, though. Alright, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these allies. I love having allies, but we're still going to kill off all the Chinese states. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, if the Reichs come start China. Oh, Chin? China? I don't know how to pronounce it in German, so. And now here comes the boring part where I'm just holding down the enter button so that we can get all these guys done. Even though I've already paused the game and it's just so laggy. Look at that. Das Reichs come start Catalonia? Nice. Very nice. I think there'll be one more episode after this just because I wanted to leave America for the last, which would be a short episode probably, but we'll see. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, even if I pause it real quick, you can see how, like, the, uh, naval invasions. Now, if I don't hold down enter, you can see it's really smooth, but now that I hold down the enter button. Oh, my goodness, so long. So many nations, so many nations to call in. So many strong, proud nations that are basically the colonies. I love it. Still doing okay here? 
Would you guys come, like to come to Chongqing? Thank you. We will take out Hui as well later on. Uh, how close are we? We're not that close, really. Oh, actually, about roughly halfway. That's not bad. Mingjiang? Sichuan's gone? Nice. Guangdong, of course. Is there Guangxi? Are we off? Oh, we are off. Oh, how strong is Haiti? They have a lot of manpower, but no divisions, which is a nice to see. Let's give some time, we'll take them out. And they'll go to war with Brazil as well. Alright, they're hopping, yay! Um, I don't really want to go to war with them. Let's do a fall viking. The shorter route to reach the U.S. is through the north, which we will have much easier access to through the Rex Britannien. To compensate for this easy access, we must contend with the fact that we will be put instantly into war with the U.S. and OFN should we, should we proceed. As the only available targets in this operation are Canada, an OFN member, and the U.S.'s forces in Iceland and Greenland. We should proceed, therefore, think deeply before we commit to the north, or at least wait until more fronts have been spared. Are prepared. All right, everyone. So we've just finished up Operation Viking, and uh, Main Zhang is completely gone. So if you want to read that again, please go right ahead. But we're going to do Operation Ericsson, go to war with U.S. forces Iceland, or Operation Hessian, Canada. So I think I'm going to wait for that. Um, I kind of want to wait for a lot of this stuff. We don't technically have to do them yet. I mean, Brazil should be okay though. So I've already read this once. So if you want to read this again, like I said earlier, please go right ahead. But I think that these guys are good to go. They should be good to go. Supplies are okay, hopefully for them. Um, they have a million manpower. They have, oh, they do have 18 divisions. Probably most of them are not very good. Ours should be okay. We're still heading on over here, too, so. Actually, do they still have the Monroe Doctrine? They still might. Are they guaranteed by the U.S.? No, they're not. Huh. All right. Also, we do have the option here to invade the Dominican Republic. And we can set up a puppet pope. Oh, there goes Shang-Chi. Nice. We can set up a puppet pope. Ooh, don't like too hard, please. We still have the Arab War, so. Very weird. And? Oh, please don't like too hard. Come on, baby. Come on! What is it gonna be? Who's Papa Pope? Papa Pope. Let's take a look. Vatican. Rex Commissariat, Vatican City, Benedict the Sixteenth. I know about this. I found it so funny. So left it in. Um. Okay. This is very weird. All right, him has only grown more steadfast in his views, but he's not forgotten with injustice against him. Okay, okay, so it's very weird. All right, whatever. The good. Oh, we have the good pope. Yes, the good pope. One holy Catholic divided church. Nice. The Lateran Pact. You know what I would love to see? I would love to see a focus tree for the the pope in the Vatican City area. I think that'd be really cool. And Tia, no. What's the pope up to? Are we, are we going to be like Nazi aligned? Are we going to be like rooting for like secret underground organizations? What are we doing here? What are, we cook what are we cooking up, you know? And how are we doing over here? Because this will help us invade Cuba, too, so. Uh, Guantanamo. <sighs> yes. Very nice. Almost in Porto Prince. There's no one there. Fall Amazon. Let's go, big boys. Let's go. Follow it up with... Oh, what is this one? Argentina. No, we're not, we're not ready for that. Secure more Lebensraum. Ooh! One of the most important missions of the Reich was to expand Lebensraum for the Aryan people. We must expand to all land and grow as a race as, a, as is our right. South America as a region is practically hand-tailored to this dream, as it is a large continent that is relatively sparse in its inhabitation compared to Europe. Who better to tame the wilds of these lands than Germans without advanced intelligence and technology? In 20 years, we will create a vast colony here that will allow for generations to come to expand and thrive. The only obstacles standing in our way are the existing governments, but they will prove no more durable than any other foe we have faced, which is to say, None at all. New decisions to take even more land for the German people in South America. Ah, I love that idea. Hey, there you go. Nice. Good job, guys. You won. Hades are. Rex Commissartation. Or something like that. Oh, Karib. Karibic. Nice. Melton. Hello, Melton. That's probably a really dumb idea. Here, send, them all, send all the tanks over here. See what you can do. Uh, in the meantime... Oh, we can't build in there. Oh, my goodness. We can't even build in there. Oh, now we can. Nice. Yeah, we don't care. Uh, just because we're going to need some serious naval bases here, because I'm sure it's going to be god-awful. Nice. Just go and go to war with them. It's fine. Yay! You can literally just probably just drive down there. Sure, guys. Come on in. Oh, you actually seen something here? We actually lost a sub. That sucks. All right, everyone. Call them in. Come in, please. You're literally not allowed to say no to me, so. Let's go! Trucking on the way to Santo Domingo! And Santiago de los Ca Ca Caballeros. I don't speak Spanish, sorry. 
Oh man, this sucks over here. Keep making them uh, them ports bigger though. Oh, they, did they get rid of that? Eh, whatever. We'll do the best we can here. Um, and, and that's the case here. E3. Port offerings. We go right there. Thank you very much. You 3 come over here. And let us do um, some gamer stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, baby boys. I know you can do it. Oh, boy. Maybe some planes, which sucks, but... Oh! Sud Ozzin. Oh, look at this. Ah, Spidel! I thought you were in Germania. That is a weird flag. Well, that's... I don't know. That reminds me of the AOG in uh, Kaiserreich. Secure my Lebensraum. Yes. It could just, I don't want to do any other focus for now. Because I don't want to go to war with anybody else. I want this to take us nice and slow, so we can just wait. Oh, look at that. Tap. All the way up there. Okay. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Come on, baby. You can land. Land it harder. Fritz Beierland. Oh, we got the Republic of China. Nice. All right, my boys. What does China look like now? Oh, North China and South China. Is that it? Really? Okay, well. All right. Um, I'll let you guys come over here. Because now we're going to kick you out. I want to keep them in. But if we're doing it like this, you, you, we might as well just be allowed to kick them out of the faction. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Might as well, right? Cool. So you... Go right here. It's weird, yeah, we didn't get the thing for Voldamarum or anything like that. So we'll go to war with them in about a month, which will be fine. Some more, four more subs for some reason, alright. Yeah, I don't know why. I guess it's not core, but still. Lhasa. Burma? Oh, Burma's up there, huh. Oh, I didn't see Burma, I think, last time, too, either. Yeah, Jürgen Brandt? He looks like Don Knotts with that mouth, but whatever. Cool. Look at that happy guy, he's just so happy. If a guy is happy, you know he only has good intentions, right? That's why I love Heinrich Himmler. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Never mind. Goring's big daddy. Oh, we can just do... Oh, okay. That's nice. Oh, it actually did one. Look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. Just go in. You... I mean, if you move fast enough, no one will be able to touch you. That's good advice. You don't... Because you don't want to get it touched by other people. Usually. Anyways, let's move the conversation to something else. Ah... <laughs> uh... I just do that. Uh, we can take it out of here then. Bing bong boom. Uh, actually, we could probably still do that area too. That's fine. Nice. Oh, did we lose anything here? Nope, that's good. To Cuba! Cuba, 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 Cuba. Look at that. Beautiful. U7, head on through here too. Uh, how many men have died? 59,000. That's not bad. I thought we'd take out more by now, but whatever. God, I love transport helicopters. They're just. I love them so why do the desert have to kill them off? I know they don't make a lot of sense, but I love them so much. That's one of my... I guess it's definitely not a guilty pleasure. It's just one of my pleasures. Just the speed at which they engage enemies. Oh. Did we land in Cuba? We're close. But probably not. They are entrenched. Whoa. Get a little bit of lag. Oh, well, okay. Okay, no, that's why there's a lot of lag. Alright, not bad. God dang, this looks beautiful, does it not? Montevideo. Yeah, it's definitely mixed bag over there. Let's see what we can do in Havana. We do have two armor and one motorized, so that's not bad. We're probably not going to win here. Or, ooh, not even win there. Uh, you'll see. They can't pierce our big daddies, so that's good. We'll know soon, though. Alright then, let's go ahead and do uh, Uruguay. It's Uruguay, right? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Rex going to start Brazilian. There we go. Beautiful. How's China looking? Not too bad. So the only budget boost is gone. Let's go and do this as well. Who are these guys? And just call these guys in. Do want to call all those guys in, and then we want to call you in too. 
Makes it a little bit faster for us. Instead of calling everybody in, you know. It's fine. See what happens. Oh, there goes Uruguay. Uruguay. We should have him done. I'm not too worried about that. Awesome! Big ways next. Beautiful. Rex Commissariat. Feuerland. Whoa. Johannes Steinhoff, you're looking like you've been really injured, man. Who he's gone too. Great. Now that's not bad. I like that a lot. Honestly, I don't know. I just kind of want to get rid of this. Um, the whole thing with Tibet. Let's see. Let's see. Can I just annex Tib? Oh wait, what? Is it? Yeah, they're gone now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that just glitched. We didn't get the uh, super event for that thing there, you know, like the co prosperity sphere, but still. Okay, so we actually have this one. Okay. Um, I, hmm. So maybe, I mean, I guess simply we weren't supposed to do that, but it still wasn't going anyways. It just makes sense for these guys to be under this administration. But, like, that sucks. I apologize for that, but, uh. That looks so much better, does it not? Cool, we're done on here. Nice! Now, this should all be us, except for Australasia, or Australia and New Zealand, so. I'm gonna say probably save most of the army for, I don't know, probably America? I might just send tanks down to uh, Australia, maybe. So we'll see. Like, if you follow my channel at all, you know I don't like using console commands, but. Oh well, it is what it is. And I'm gonna make the game like really hard here. Cool. Let's see, yeah. I'll try to not do that, but yeah, that's weird. Like, even though Tibet capitulated, the sphere didn't want to die. So, that's unfortunate. Um, I think we probably have one, at least one, maybe two more videos in this campaign because we have America. And apparently the other America might have a unique little focus tree that we want to explore. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. Okay, Chile, Bolivia, Ecuador, Peru. Um, and we will do Argentina probably next, honestly. So we're going to read the, that focus pretty much now when we're done lagging the game so hard. So... But I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself. Not bad. It could be better. It could be worse. Like normal. It's always going to be normal from time to time. Not too high. Not too low. Alright. Yes. Operation Von Spee. Of all the nations of South America, Argentina is the closest ties with the Reich from the side of culture and demographics. Many Germans live there and make up a sizable minority along with other European immigrant descendants, of course. These sons, lost sons have mingled far, far too long with the lower races to ever truly be our equals as pure Aryans, but still, they are our relatives at least, and one does not leave their relatives out in the cold of the night. We shall seize the state and consider integrating it into the Reich once we have purged the filth and blood traitors. It will make a marvelous new home for our veterans to start our families once, in this great, once this great campaign is over. The spirit of Von Spee himself watches over us as we sail for Argentinian shores. As part of our ongoing project to control the South, Af South American continent, we will make Argentina turn into a giant naval base against American Japan. Very soon. Very, very soon, though. Very, very soon. How's this going? Do we actually... Oh, we won! Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that. Great job, guys. Great job. Thumbs up from me. Um, that's a... Well, I guess we still have that, them to deal with over here, but, uh... Well, I guess if you really want it, come help out. Guiana, Colombia. I don't want to find the mountains with these guys, but... I guess we'll do what we have to do, you know? It is what it is. Boom. And then boom. Boom. Oh, oh crap, that's huge. That's massive. That's thick. Oh. And just in case, get another naval base up here. You never know if we might need it, so. Nice. Um, more ships. Yes, big daddies. Uh, just death stacking, man. We just death stack a lot. Go to that one because you can. For your health. Just so fast. God, I feel so good. Oh, look at this. Who's this? Feuerland. Oh, nice. Alright, get all these guys in place. They'll be good to go. How strong is Argentina? Mendoza, huh? Not that strong. Huzzah. Um, I'm going to wait for the tanks to invade Bolivia, which is a bad idea because they have so many mounds up there, too, but whatever. Alright, let's go in. Argentina! The OFN's peon. Unsurprisingly, given the fact that its leader is a dominant of either American continent, the OFN has their to own toady in South America, Guiana. 
Luckily for us, OFN has not made much of an effort to support this small, pitifully ragtag state over the years and is positively ripe for the taking. The fun of breaking them will serve as an excellent warm up once their allies come rushing to their own deaths. And a larger nuclear stockpile. When the first nuclear bomb exploded in Hawaii, the world stood sh in shock. For the first time in history, man had the capability to destroy itself at the turn of a key and the touch of a button. The culmination of thousands of years of human achievement, art, architecture, science, politics, men could be destroyed in less than an hour. It was a power once thought unthinkable, relegated to gods. Now, a petty man on top of petty government holds his power. In fact, it has grown and from something catastrophic but not apocalyptic to something one step closer to world ending. A terrifying development. None shall threaten us again. We will replace a massive stockpile with an apocalyptic stockpile. Nice. Ah, <sighs> just as Herman would want. Yes. Oh god, now it's gonna lag super hard again. You know, you think when you take out enemy nations, it'd make the game faster, because there's less nations overall, and that's technically true. Well, there's just so many allied nations. So, if there's any, like, group here that you want to see which part of, like, the world we've taken out, and who's leading who, where, please let me know in the comments, like, if you want me to check out, like, more South America when we finish them off. If you want to check out like parts of Asia or Africa or even Europe, let me know in the comments below because I'll gladly like hover over them because I've we've already looked at most of them, if not all of them. I'm sure I probably missed a few, but if there's anyone that you really specifically want to know about, please let me know in the comments below. So very nice. Ah, very good. I love Argentina. I've never been. Probably never gonna go, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we can't win there. Of course, this is, there's a river right here. This is the Rio Grande or something like that. Still winning. Just still winning. 500 have been lost. Well, we've already killed off 70-some thousand of them. 90-some thousand of them. Can we make it 100,000? Probably. And... Come on, we're so close. Uh oh Well, there we go. La Repubblica Argentina. Oh, just a convoy, that's fine. Feuerland. Very nice, my friends. Very, very nice. Chile, yes, yes. Nice. What's next? Uh, yeah, we can do that one too. Uh, we'll get there eventually. We will. Actually, since you're here, how strong is Special Forces Iceland? They're a puppet of the U.S., right? So I don't. I really don't want to go to war with them. House is looking okay, so I don't really want to go to war with them. Canada, I'd rather go to war with Canada, to be honest with you. But if we go to war with them, we go to war with America. So Pierre, Pierre Trudeau, is that your daddy? Huh. He is, a, he is definitely a dude. I'll put it like that. He's definitely a dude. Um, you know what? Screw that one. You guys just come up here. Guiana. Oh, the Americans are down there. Look at that. Okay, so before we go to war with America, we will definitely set up a lot of invasions. Or a lot of air, air bases, I mean. Air bases. Not invasions, but, you know, air bases. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, no one cares that he's down with Chile. They're gone immediately. Nice. All right, Operation Icarus. We're gonna wait. Operation Hydra. Uh, yeah, we're getting close to that one. We're getting very close. So we'll leave our tanks for this. We're gonna sneak all the way up through here if we possibly can. Get to Mexico, and then kill them all that way. Yeah, over here we definitely need just massive air bases. Because America's going to have so bad word many things. Is that the Bay of Pigs right there? Huh. Just so many. I mean, we already can tell. They're going to have so many. So many planes here. We're going to need a lot of dockyards. Because we're going to need a lot of ship repairs. Good, good, good. Are we ready for Bolivia yet? Come on, guys. More ships, though? Yes, please. Alright, you should be good enough to go. Let's go. Call these guys in so we don't have to lag the entire game. Wolf! Ah, Wolf, yes. There's a lot of ideologies. Who's Burgundian system here? Burgundian system is led by Burgundian system. Alright. Nice. Ah, just so fast. So much speed. Nice. Alright, Peru's next. Five, four, three, go. I'm gonna wait. Oh, 
Wow, we got a lot of the staffers done. Very good. This is literally the longest campaign I've ever had. Nice. Operations. Cryptology. Mexico. Oh, we've done Mexico yet. Have we done, yeah, we've done them. We've done them too good. And there goes Peru. Nice and fast, the way we like it. Oh, Rex Comosar at the Gros. Colombian. Nice. Cool. Led by Hans Toysen. Tusen. Cool. Better trucks, advanced equipment, yes please. And so now we can go to war with Colombia. Paul Vendig. Venedig. By right of historical ownership, Colombia and Venezuela are rifle domains of the Reich. The colony of Klein Venedig was settled in the 16th century and could have been founding great success and has been a boon for the German people had it not been for the short-sighted decision by Emperor Charles V, who, it must be noted, was not wholly German by race. A man with only one German parent would never be given a status in a Reich, so why should we heed the proclamation of one from the distant past? Klein Venedig shall once more be in possession of the Aryan hands, fixing this historical injustice once and for all. Are you guys in the war? That's fine. I don't really care. Oh, you're not. Okay. I should fix this. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Quito will be ours. Ah, and it is. Happy days. Actually, it's a show I never watched, huh? There you go. How big is the American army? That's, that's what I'm wondering right now. Bogata? Support weapons. Thank you. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, yes, baby boy. More organization, soft attack recovery rate. Oh, baby, let's recover faster. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Ah, oh, there goes Colombia. Nice. Gross Colombian. Save the tanks for these guys. Save the stuff up here for these guys. It's fine. Karabik. Karabik. So fast. Oh, nuclear reactors, huh? It'd be a shame if those things exploded. Caracas. Caracas. Yay! Now that's not bad. Look, that's so good. I love how South America split up. It's so nice, is it not? Oh, it's so good. I love it. Love it. Panama! All right. Invade the Panama... Isolate the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal is a true diamond in the rough amongst the malaria ridden jungles and dense forests of South America. In fact, we're not already planning to create a land with front with America through Mexico. The Kriegsmarine would likely have damn near forced us to strike at the canal. By capturing it, we can prevent the sizable U.S. Pacific Fleet from joining its Atlantic counterpart anytime soon. To that end, we will first need to destroy the nation of Panama and prove that its lack of worth in letting in another nation own the great strategic position that runs through its very heart. When we finally confront America directly, we will come down upon the canal like a tidal wave and push aside any opposition no matter how fierce. Yes! Crushes of America. The Central American region is absolutely infested with small, pathetic nations that will easily be trampled under boots and be ground into, into dust. In fact, Ferdinand Feldmarschall Reimer, oh no, just Feldmarschall Reimer, has suggested without a hint of humor that we could engage all of them with only one army and have enough strength re remaining to blitz through Mexico. Perhaps he is just boasting, but his words do strike at the core of the truth of the matter. These nations are all weaklings, unfit to survive or even be recognized as true enemies by the Reich. They have merely speed bumps and nothing more. Whether we only eliminate the bare minimum of them needed to reach our ultimate strategic target of Mexico. Our ticker time in cleansing the region is, of course, up to the Führer's prerogative, but the militaries are confident in their ability to deal with any and all threats among this lot. I apologize for the long-winded talking, but c'est la vie. It seems like we're probably going to have to accept the naval invasions as well, so... Correct the sphere. Ah, there we go. Yes. Yes, big daddies, yes. Let us have a good time. Actually, can we just capitulate them by doing this? Oh, please. Oh, we did. We can't. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. I'm literally just going to go to war with all, all of them at the same time, so. Um, get some boys over here. We'll be good to go, probably. And, uh, yeah. Not bad. Pretty darn nice. I wish we could throw more radar on here. So, who owns this? Latin America, Le Bagat Bastian. Nice. Let's just go all in. There we go. And, you know what? Let me pop up this one. Oh, that'd be kind of cool, but, uh, you know what? Let's do this first. Call all of our allies in. Oh, I gotta love that. So we're gonna go all the way through Central America. We're gonna take it all the way to Mex America, Mexico. And the next episode, we will just start going to war with Americans and enjoy our time. Like, because I want to save America for last. 
America sounds like the big old cookie we want to save for the last little part. Because we love America. Alrighty tighty. Oh, look at those allies. Are we at war? Wait, hold on. Who's at war? Oh, well, unless. Someone's. Is that the. That's the OFN. Huh. Was it Belize or something like that allied to them? Maybe it is. German Costa Rican war. My gosh, look at all this. Yes, we even need. Oh, we're going to start Japan in the war. Come on. There we go. It is Belize, god dang it. We need to go fast. Before they come into the war. So let's go, 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 go. And that's why we're using these guys. Go! Oh, there goes Costa Rica. That's nice. Oh, crap. Oh, well, America's been called in. Oh, boy. Well, we're not ready for that. So, you know what? Hmm. We're really not ready for the war here. I really want to save the war for, with America last. Are we at war with Mexico? We're not actually at war with Mexico, which is good. Uh, okay, so before we do anything else, like, the, like this is our navy. That's nice. I really want to save America for last because I'm going to do both parts of it in one episode. Let's go ahead and throw some planes on here. Like I said, like America's going to have so many planes and such. Go in there. And I want a lot of planes. What do we have? What do we have? Of course, we have fighters and such. Um, jet cast, that's good enough. That's fine. Cool. And 800 here. I, Because before we leave this episode, I will take a good look at the... We will, we will take a good look at the army size. So, anti helicopters. Get some more jet cast too. It's fine. Go right there. You should be okay with that. And then get some more planes uh, in this airbase over here. The Bay of... I, I thought it was the Bay of Pigs. Um... Cool. Do that one. Cool. So... Actually... Oh, like, oh Australia too. So if you want to read about Operation Ericsson, please go ahead. And Operation Hessian, please go ahead. The second battle for the Atlantic. Uh, destroy... I guess... Are we at war with Canada anyways? Yeah. Operation Hessian it should be fine to do. Alright. So that should... Honestly, there we go. Bypass. So, I don't mind reading about destroy forward air bases. Without a place to take off from, to land, and to refuel, an air fleet is nothing better than a pile of scrap metal left to rot or dust. Furthermore, an air fleet whose only air base is out of range of the prime combat zones is equally worthless. For our soul into the north, we must prioritize knocking out the O offense furthest deployed airfields to allow us to land on the shores without suffering massive casualties from bombers and strafing runs. The principal facilities are located in Iceland and in the Newfoundland region of Canada. These will be taken out first, and their remains will be later used to create air bases of our very, for our very own planes. Nice. Cool, I think I do definitely want to say this for the next episode, though. I'm sorry to leave it here, but, like, I want to leave America for last. I really do. Uh, before we leave, though. Uh, oh, actually, we have over here. A lot of convoys. Not a lot of commanders. All right. They're led by McNamara still. It is 77, so. 108 divisions. They probably have a ton of tanks. A couple of airborns, which will be kind of difficult to take out, probably. Plenty of manpower, of course. Um, Navy-wise, they have almost 500 ships. Roughly 500. We'll say well, actually, never mind. That's, that's up to 664. So anywhere between 500 to 600 and a half ships. Jesus Christ, that's so many carriers. My God. But it doesn't look like they have any of the capital ships. Except for heavy cruisers, which is kind of okay with me. So, hey, this is what we're going to be up against. They have, I'd say, a little less than a quarter million manpower in the, in the air. But, hey, I guess we'll save this for the next time, my friends. If you enjoyed our little video here, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably end the campaign in the next episode. And destroy... The OFN. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.